Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Goldsmith Gaming with me, Christopher, and this is Sid Meier's Sim Golf, a new series on this channel and a classic and a favorite of mine from the past. Uh, because, yeah, I've had it with hell and demons and murder and blood and all of that, so I just want to have a chill series. And uh, what better way to chill down than playing golf? And also building your own golf course. That seems like a very chill thing to do, right? So, yeah, we are indeed just gonna have ourselves a bit of fun with this game and uh, the goal here is to go for 18 holes so uh, hopefully we will be able to do just that so uh, in starting a new game what difficulty should we go for well in uh, preparations uh, for this series I've been playing a little bit and my goal has been to play on the impossible, and why the I in impossible is lowercase, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's just a thing that this game does. Uh, but yeah, I've been playing on impossible, and I've got into about five holes, and I've made no money. Uh, it's a bit tricky. And uh, the value that is responsible for... Um, golfers giving you money is fun levels and on the impossible that is really difficult to keep high so uh, yeah sadly i am not going to be playing it on the impossible it's not going to be terribly enjoyable for you i think i am however going to play on difficult and uh, the biggest difference i think i mean apart from the fact that you know golfers are a little bit more nice to you uh, they don't complain as much on difficult as they do on impossible the other difference is um, there are three named golfers that can come to your course well okay all the golfers are named but there are three golfers that are a bit special and um the, when they arrive, they arrive based on a value. So on easy and moderate, uh, the value is fun level. So the higher your fun level, the more reliable it is that they're gonna show up. For difficult and impossible, it is skill level. So I just find that to be a little bit more interesting. So, we are going to go for difficult. And where are we going to play? Well, in this game there are four kinds of courses. You have your regular green course, which is basically looking like you think it would look like. Everything is green and normal and, you know, pretty boring. Uh, you have your uh, desert, desert course with a lot of uh, sand and rocks and uh, cacti and, oh, it's... It's it's not a nice one. It kind of looks odd. I mean, I guess you can make it look a little bit nice when you get to fairways and stuff like that in, but other than that, it doesn't look good. You also have the tropical, uh, tropical cores. You get some palm trees, and I think you do, in fact, get dolphins in the waters. Because these generally, I think all of these, all of these have a uh, coast, coastal line. So I think that you will always be able to get dolphins uh, showing themselves. And the last one is sort of the British one. Uh, you have three locations in Britain, but then also in Nova Scotia over here. And uh, that is the one that I want to play on. Uh, I want to play on one of these. And um, the reason why is because I kind of like it. It's a, bit, it's a little bit more dusky. I mean, not that much, but a little bit. And it's just, just a little bit more classic, I think. So, where do we want to play? Well, I am going to go for Ireland. The reason why is that uh, Scotland gives you a free castle. That is really, really good. Castle is one of the most uh, expensive buildings. However, I also like to be in charge of where uh, buildings should be placed. And... Um, the castle is big, and it takes up a lot of space in the beginning of the game, so not a good spot for it. So, no, we're not going to go for Scotland. And Wales and Nova Scotia, they have um, they have uh, landmarks already placed. I also don't really like that, because again, I would like to be in charge of mainly where those things go. So, um, Ireland says leprechauns. Uh, well, there's pot of golds everywhere. And I kind of like that. So we're going to go for an Ireland map. Now, obviously, we only have $100,000. This costs 700, but we can re-roll. Now it costs a million, so that's not better. Um, we are going to go for one that costs 60,000. So we're going to have to re-roll a few times. There we go. Not, not, not more than that. Um, so yeah, 60,000. In Ireland and uh, that's basically it so let's uh, start off a, a little map over here now what did we get not the best start not the best start sadly uh, ooh. 
do I want to re-roll? Because I kind of want some water if I can get it. You know what? I'm going to re-roll the map. Uh, I want water. Uh, I'll try... Uh, let's say like this. I'll re-roll one time. If I get water, that's good. If I don't, well, fine, we'll run with it. But I'm going to do one re-roll for this map, because um, getting some water is just a good way to get uh, good uh, good holes, because water is a, a hazard that costs a lot. If we go over here, we have 40,000 right now, and one water hazard is 5,000. We're not going to be placing any of those ourselves, so we, if we can get some of those for free, that's a good thing. So, let me re-roll the map one time. And boy did I get lucky, look at this. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is perfect, basically a... I've basically got an entire stream. Well that's kind of cool. I don't think I've had that in a while, so that's cool. Right, this is much much better. So, this is... Uh, this is Rather, this means that it's time for us to get going. Now first off, any building like this, if um, the height difference is too... Uh, widespread, or actually if it's any height difference, you get this really ugly uh, edge thing. So we're gonna make sure that that doesn't exist. There we go. <laughs> I'm also gonna lower this immediately. We don't need this to be that high. Luckily in this game, terraforming is free, so we can do as much of that as we like. Right, um, we are gonna have to try and fit as many holes in here as possible. Ooh, that's interesting. Why is that? Uh... Right, you can't change the border or other outside. That's, that's weird. I should be able to increase this one. No, apparently I'm not able to increase it because I can increase these, but apparently not the corner. Never mind. <laughs> We're going to start with the first hole. Where do we want to go? I could actually do this. Yes. We'll start the first hole. Uh, basically straight out from the club house. We'll start with a, we'll start with a softball. Fairly short, part, okay, it says part four, but it's gonna be part three in the end. And um, what I'm gonna use, which I never really use, is the analyzer over here. So if we click on that one and click anywhere, uh, the game will sort of tell you where people will hit it. And uh, there are three basic, uh, basic skills for the regular golfers, imagination, accuracy, and length, and also the white one is for golfers with, who have all skills. So actually golfers with all skills could go to the hole immediately. I don't think we're gonna see much of that in the beginning of the game at the very least, but oh, I immediately forgot where that got us. Uh, so basically over here is where we need to put the first fairway piece. So basically here, uh, so what if we do ooh, ducks nice? So what if we do what if we have a fairly nice entry here? And we'll just basically make it run all the way up like that. I like that. Um, let's do some sand traps. We'll do one sand trap here. And we'll do a big sand trap here. And what you can do, as you can see, you have a little indent in the sand trap here. If you place one like that and one like that, you can get a sort of smooth looking sand trap. So that's a good one. Uh, that's fine. We'll put some out of waste bunker. Those aren't fun. We'll get some rocks. Yes, let's do some rocks over here, and I think that this is fine. Uh, we're gonna try to spend as little as possible as little as possible so uh, obviously on the outside here we could place like a few trees and stuff like that but yeah we're gonna try and keep it as cheap as possible so that is gonna be a part for for now uh, but as soon as we play our first tournament we will most likely be able to lower that so let's start that up uh, that is a, actually a dog leg right that's good to know um, we're gonna talk about that in just a second uh, so let's do a pa pathway up here. We can just run the pathway all the way over here. And then through the trees here, because we're going to do the next one. And I am going to do three holes before we even uh, unpause the game. Now, hopefully I won't run into negatives. Mm -hmm. And also, by the way, yeah, we need to check this. Oops, forgot about that. Um, yeah, height differences, differences are actually a proper thing in this game, obviously. Uh, we're gonna lower everything to three, we don't have to go too high in the beginning. Uh, but yeah, height differences are very much a thing, so I'm thinking... 
Yeah, this is fun. We go over here and then there's a big bit of an increase, but then all over here is basically just the same. Uh, so that's something to think about. Right, next uh, next hole, we'll do a longer one. Do I want to snake around the trees? I don't necessarily want to remove trees because it costs a little bit more. But I'm thinking that snaking around here is just going to be... Well, it might actually be fun. Yes, it might actually be... Okay, so we're going to have a fair way... Let's actually have it about here-ish. But I also need to have space for the next hole. And I kind of want that to be over here. Okay, so you know what? Never mind. We're going to have a green along some pots of gold. And I'm going to have to remove, sadly, two trees here. That's fine. We, we, we will have the money for that. Because I'm, I'm already spotting a a saving I can do. <laughs> so I'll get to that later as well. So we should be fine to have a fair way here, right? You should all be able to... You can actually get even further. Uh, is that because of height differences? It might be. Potentially. I'm going to have it lower, actually. So we'll have it basically like that. And, uh, okay. Well, if I just to actually remove that one and it's, it's not a super good idea to have uh, have it next to the border because if you um, hit it a little bit too far then the ball is out of play uh, so let's actually have this slightly convenient for the players so yeah you ooh, you can actually make it but that is not where the ball lands uh, currently there's a down slope here so I'll keep it like this and we'll see what happens, is my thinking. But I will actually remove, oops, not in the correct place. I'll remove this back to rough. And what I'll do, just to make sure that people don't go over unnecessarily, I'll just increase that. And I will decrease there. Yes, I'll leave it in the crease here, actually. Oh, one too many. Yeah, this is fun. Do I have that like that? Yeah, I have that like that. So you could actually hit this little spot and go in here. That seems fun. Uh, right. Uh, more of this. So, yeah, see, that's 800. It's not... I actually thought it would, would be a little bit more, but it wasn't. So fairly... fairly narrow thing here. Let's actually... let's do it like that. A little bit weird, but uh, we'll do a bunker here, we'll do a bunker here, and a bunker here, just to make it a little bit tricky. So that is a dog. Ooh, I, I inadvertently made a uh, a mistake here, so to speak. Also, this is this is the reason why you don't necessarily want bunkers like this to be uh, on different heights, but. That is what we have right now. So, one of the things that you don't want are holes that look the same. What I've done is I have two holes that look the same. I don't know exactly why this became a dogleg right, because it's quite clearly very straight on, but okay, whatever. But yeah, this hole is going to change to a part three. So, we aren't really that bad off. Some people might complain a little bit in the beginning, uh, but they should be fine afterwards. Now, I did do this a little bit weird. I'm gonna remove the path here and go here because here's the thing: the path needs to connect to the clubhouse in order for it to be uh, uh, asphalt path. If it isn't, then it's just a regular little. Uh, oops. Yeah, this is also weird, by the way. <laughs> there's a there, there's a bulldozer uh, button, but you don't use that. The, the the thing you do is you right click to remove things. So. This one only becomes an information about the fact that you right-click on things to move. It's such an odd decision, <laughs> or design decision. Uh, but yeah, um, pathways needs to be connected to the clubhouse, and you can't actually pass them through items like this, or items, or uh, course things. You can, however, if I do this, for example, I can now place a fairway over, and will actually keep it a uh, asphalt uh, path. Uh, but I can't do this, for example, because now that becomes a gravel path. So, uh, trying to keep it... Oop, can I not... God damn it. <laughs> okay. Don't do too many changes. Luckily, that didn't cost too much. Uh, so, yeah. Um, 
be mindful of that. We will run the path just along here. I'll avoid the pot of gold and have it over here and here. And where do I want... Because the path is going to come over here, I think. Or do I... No, I probably have it here. So let's actually run it down here. This is a good place for a scenic bridge. Uh, but yeah, these cost what? Uh, they cost, if I can just... No, it says it right here. Uh, 10,000. I, uh, I do not have 10,000 to spend on a bridge. Let me just tell you that. So on this occasion, I'm actually going to utilize... Am I? No, I'm going to do... Okay, it didn't actually work. Okay, ne never mind. Okay, so maybe it doesn't work for the T then. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we'll have the T. Oh, okay, never mind then. Let's change that because I want the T then to be here. And yeah, no, I, I know. Hold your horses. <laughs> and we shall increase the height here a bit. There we go. Could do this to get some nice uh, waterfalls like this. So let's do that. That's pretty. Um, right. Let's try for as long a hold as we can. So this is going to be through some trees again. So hopefully I can make this fairly straight. Uh, I'm going to assume that this is f close enough. Right, yes, that's fine. Uh, we can actually go just a little bit further. And I will simply do another one in here. Another sort of straight line. But I will sadly remove some more trees. Oh, this is costing a bit. Don't like that, but that's fine. Uh, we shall do some rocks. Ooh, we get sheep down here. Nice. Uh, we will do a bunker here, we'll do a bunker here, a bunker here, and then we're pretty much done. So this is going to be, it's another par 4 hole. <laughs> oh, bother. Okay, so we don't want a bunker here. I just realized that, but also there's two pots of gold there. Maybe I'll run the, okay, never mind, I can have the bunker here. I didn't spot those two pots of gold, but that's fine, we can run the pathway along here. Yes. That works, and we will obviously also have two more bunkers, but we will rotate. There we go. Money is looking not super good immediately, but we should be fine. So that's basically that hole. That's a long par 4. We might be able to change that to a par 5 at some point, don't know. Uh, let's also check this. We will, oh, not too much, we will lower that, and that's a little bit of an uphill here. And we're getting... Ooh, that's a bit too high up. No, we'll pull it down to four over here. Let's pull it back to four. Oops, too much. Uh, four, four, ooh, ooh, no, no. Four, yes. And we can have these as three here. So we basically do the same. And... I think that's fine. At some point, I might want to do another green here. Maybe. Okay, so I've, uh, I haven't done the best job here, but that is a straight one, though, so that's fine. And I think it's time for us to actually unpause the game. And uh, since I've already played, I've already prepared my golfer, because yes, we do have our own golfer. So this is me, Ghostmoth Golf, a YouTuber married. I'm not married, but I do have a girlfriend. <laughs> I am mature. Currently, I don't have any skills, but we will accumulate skills during the uh, during the series. You can also actually set all of these little uh, uh, notifications or things they say during golfing. I might do that. Maybe, possibly, uh, but we'll, we'll see about that. Uh, one way to upgrade your skills, by the way, I'll just show you that, is over here. Uh, so this little cup will be filled in with our accomplishments. And currently we can see three, but we don't have to do these specifically. We can do whichever we want in any order, it's just that 
they can only fit three of them. <laughs> they can only fit three. Right, I think we're gonna unpause the game. So, yep, County Kincaid Golf Links. Nice. In the world of golf with an E. I don't know if that is a... Is golf with an E a British thing? <laughs> Possibly it is, actually. Right, so people are now gonna start uh, playing our golf course. And uh, yeah, we can play the golf uh, course ourselves. Ooh, I forgot one thing, though. We need people. We need weed killers. Uh, they... They kill weeds, wouldn't you know? So we're gonna have one over here, and we're gonna have one down here. But the savings that I was talking about is actually the fact that Ghost Golf here, he can handle everything himself. And we have the first named character, JP Big Dome. If he likes my course, he will actually give me ten thousand dollars. That's a good thing. And um, yeah, if we go into here. We have greeters, uh, we have rangers, we have thirst quenchers, and weed killers. Um, so these these fill fill four different. Uh, I was about to say rules, not rules. Um, <laughs> they fill um, four different kinds of roles. There we go. That's the word. Ghost with golf. He can do everything. He can do all four of those. So I'm gonna place him around here so he can take care of weeds up here. <laughs> Which is just nice. Uh, the groundskeepers will just walk around doing their thing over there. Um, yeah, it is a, it is a savings uh, because they cost 200 every week. So 800 every month. So that's 1600 every month that I need to bring in from my golfing. So if you can see here, we're gonna get a little, yeah, there we go. So Marcia just finished the hole, and uh, she was really happy for that. 900 simoleons, or dollars. So as you might remember what I said, uh, a thousand is the max, so she actually gave me quite a lot. Uh, you though, bastard. What's your name? Marcus. You only gave me 600, so he did not give me as much. So that's a bit of a shame. But if we look at a golfer, the thing that I was talking about before is uh, over here. So every golfer has five attributes. Fun, attitude, energy, hunger, and thirst. Energy, hunger, and thirst, those are super easy to handle. Uh, we're actually sort of in control of those to a certain degree. Uh, fun and attitude, we cannot really affect directly. Uh, that is dependent on things that they do on the golf course. So if they hit uh, balls incorrectly, like you, you're gonna go into uh, rough. On this occasion, you're okay with that, uh, but sometimes they might get angry. Uh, if we go, oh, oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted. If we go over to uh, Gary Golf here, as you can see, hits a bad shot, worse shot, almost hit by ball. There are a couple of things that uh, your golfers won't enjoy. So, so there is one thing we can do, however, we're going to see about that later. We have access to landmarks, and I think that this is actually guaranteed for this uh, map that you start with this. Uh, but we are going to get a, another of these characters. She's called Ivana Richman. If she likes your uh, course, she's going to give you uh, a landmark. And in the beginning, I think it's fairly... 100% chance that you're gonna get a new landmark. So as you can see, there are, uh, what is that, 12, 14, I think? No? Wait, 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 10, 12, 14. <laughs> Can't even count. Um, yeah, so a possible 14 landmarks. In the beginning, she, act she doesn't give you new ones, so you unlock more of them to build. I actually see now that this is, this is a bit tricky. Uh, I already see that. What we can do is actually... Let's increase here. Let's have a dip here. That's a good one. Yeah, I'm, I'm even uh, I'm even giving them uh, <laughs> beverages over here. Um, but yeah, uh, back to landmarks. One of the landmarks that we can get, or one kind of landmark. See, the barn uh, is for no dandelions. So the thing that the groundskeepers m remove. Place one of this. Uh, you have a little zone of control. Everything in th in that zone of control won't be generating dandelions if I would place that. Uh, there are others, and the most important one is happy golfers. Place one of those next to someone. Well, having placed one of those next to someone who makes a bad shot, for example, and they will actually regret their little outburst, especially or rather. 
significantly if it is a red one. They can still be, um, you know, annoyed at things, but in white. I don't care about those. I care about the um, the red ones. The red ones are the bad ones. So um, if you have one of those, uh, uh, one of those. Ooh, that is a bad. Ooh, I don't like that. Uh, I don't like that. That needs to be like that. Um, yes, yeah, so if you have one of those closed, that's good. So the first one, or rather the first one, not the first one, the cheapest one is going to be here. <laughs> that is the sundial. Over here, we're going to get a uh, windmill, was it? Yes. And over here, we're going to get a Buddha statue. And I actually don't know exactly all of these. I don't remember them all. Uh, we'll see how many of them we will unlock. So, JP Big Dome, how do you like him? You think that this is a really good course. People are going to complain about this hole. I can tell that already. Uh, average of 4 for a par 4 hole is actually not that good. Uh, you kind of want to be 0.5 over. Um, people don't... For some reason, people don't like things when they're too easy. And I see that you can actually make that shot quite easily. I'll add one. One little lot of fairway here, and we'll drop that down. There we go. Might actually then... Should I place a bunker here? Maybe actually use some deep rough. Deep, deep rough doesn't cost too much. No, deep rough is only 200. Let's just add some deep rough here. Yes, I know that you are thirsty. Oh, we're getting... Uh, immediately we are getting uh, members, so that's one thing that can happen. And I did see that Ivana Richmond has come around, so she's here. That's her. And uh, as you can see, regular golfers, they, they don't have any skills. If we go into their settings, they can have length, accuracy, imagination that we were talking about. Um, the special ones, JP Big Dome, Ivana Richmond, and then finally I am Pikman. I am picky. I am the pi not, not Pikmin, picky. I am picky. They do have skills like other golfers. So that's her stats. The AP Pikdom has these stats. He's actually not that good, but he's pretty good at recovery skills. So that's that's fine. And we also get a notification for tournament. Uh, you have to have three holes for a, a tournament. That is sort of why I did that. Why did you do that? Wow, that was bad. That was actually really bad. Let's hope that that doesn't cause issues. But yeah, um, I can say that when I was uh, practicing this, um, when I got to five holes, you would have ten golfers. If I do this, uh, we can see down here, this is sort of what they all are. When I had five holes, and you would have at least ten golfers, basically half of them were red. That was not good. <laughs> and yeah, he actually likes the course. 10,000 to me, 20,000 in the bank. And yeah, I can already see that this is this is going way better than playing on Impossible. Gotta say that. Now I have spotted a problem. I have spotted a problem. Is it? No! Ooh, 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 ooh. I thought it was a problem. No, I, for some reason I thought that this was actually two tiles wide, but it isn't. Uh, I was a little bit worried that we wouldn't be able to do another hole here. Uh, we're gonna have to do... Yeah, some information about how to create a golf course. Thank you! Um, I've built this a bit oddly, I see that now, but I can actually do... Ooh, right, I can utilize the water here. I can do a really short par 3 hole up here. And then another par four, poor, par, par four, not poor, uh, par four hole over here, is what I'm thinking. Uh, one thing that I haven't mentioned are buildings, and um, a thing about buildings is that at least three of them, I think, this is this is at least how I think it, or how I view it, uh, three of them you kind of want close to your clubhouse, that is the putting green. It is the pro shop, and it is the driving range. So you kind of want a little bit of space over here. And we actually, we could actually afford this already. Should I actually go for that? Yes, yes we are. So, uh, can I... No, we can't, can't rotate these. This is a bit annoying. We can rotate other buildings, but not the putting green. Do we just put the putting green over here then? Do I? 
kind of don't want to put it here because it's off center from the clubhouse but then on the other other side it's not as big as the clubhouse it's going to be off anyway uh, but if i put it here it's going to be well i can change the d d d d d d See, see one thing that I don't like, <laughs> because I just don't like the look of it, if, is if I build pathways like this, you can see that they all connect to uh, the building. I, I don't like that, it doesn't look good. So I'm trying to sort of keep it nice and tidy, which means that, yeah, I will pu I'll put it here. I will put it here. There we go. And there are also stories. There's a lot of things going on here in the beginning of the game. Yeah, if uh, golfers are... Uh, compatible they will develop stories so over here we have the P Peter patter with Arnie and Harriet haven't you felt there's something missing in your life well yes now that you mention it <laughs> so if uh, two golfers succeed uh, in um, if they succeed in doing a, uh, a, 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 a a story that is uh, for parts long you actually get a star uh, what, do you, what do you get from that was it landmarks that you got from that hmm don't know uh, but yeah we can see that the fun levels are actually doing okay actually really good <laughs> so such a big difference from uh, impossible yeah here we go yeah see this is what they're complaining about another dog like right as soon as we get this down to part three uh they won't complain about it so that's good yeah see they're complaining a bit over here uh but apparently they're still enjoying things so that's a good good thing right we're gonna also do this I'll... Well, you're at par four. Ooh, we got a precise home i'll show you in just a second what that means there we go I will lower here. I have forgotten about one thing. We need some benches. Uh, so benches is basically... Again, if we go back to golfers, uh, energy. That is what we combat with benches. Uh, but benches actually work in a, uh, in a different ma manner as well. Which is that uh, when we do tournaments, uh, people are going to finish the tournament in the, on different holes. If there are benches nearby, they will actually use the benches to uh, disappear <laughs> instead of going all the way over to the clubhouse. I'm going to put benches here. What bench are we going to use? Since I want this to feel a little bit rustic, it's either this one or this one, I think. But I'm kind of liking the darker one. So I'm going to go for one here. And I'll go for one here. Are these? No, how much did these cost? Two hundred. So I'm gonna. It's gonna cost a little bit here to remove the tree, but I'm okay with that. No, we didn't remove the tree. Okay, fair enough. So we'll have some benches there, and I'll have a bench here. Oh, so what did we get? We got. What did we get? Did I get a lighthouse? Holy crap, isn't that like the, one of the more expensive ones? Well, fascinating if she did. Uh, we're gonna put... Ooh, that's a bit annoying. Uh, ooh, do, 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 do. can't do it like that, can I? How is this still asphalt? That's odd. Uh, never mind, we'll do it like... Uh, Okay, we'll do it like this. Yes, Th there we go. That's the solution. Um, yeah, what did we get? Oh, right, we got... Yeah, this is the uh, second Happy Endings uh, landmark. So, yeah, the, the, the first Happy Ending is free. I will not hear anyone say anything about the sexual innuendo of that. Uh, but yeah, basically what that is uh, referring to is obviously the little stories that they do. Um, if you have this landmark close by, so if I would have it here, it would be more... more... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Basically, a higher chance for... Uh, uh, for happy endings to occur. Yes, I realize that that is actually Eduardo as well. Never mind. Right, we'll put some benches over here. That's good. 
Now, we also got another notion, a lot of stuff happening in the beginning. We can now play versus a pro, and we absolutely want to do that. Uh, that means that uh, since we're actually doing okay money-wise, we will do a groundskeeper over here. So Mr. Gar Ghostmuth Golf, he's, he's called Gary Golf, uh, basic name. Or as a, as a standard, but I've uh, renamed him to Ghostmuth Golf. Now, do I need a... Yeah, they are a bit thirsty already. You know what? Let's get a soda better. Uh, they do cost, but they also actually make money back. So, they can be over here. She's gonna interrupt people on the screen. But that's fine. Um, a fountain, you say? Okay, so apparently there's a fountain here somewhere. Um, you haven't started playing yet, so we're gonna start a game here. Uh, since this is the first thing that we do, or the first game, we get to add 10 skill points. Now, what do I like to do? I've been trying some different things. Generally, I like Power Hitter and High Backspin Shot, uh, because High Backspin Shot is a really good shot to do. But, I've also realized that Accuracy is freaking good. So, I'm actually gonna go for Accuracy. So, we're gonna go 50% on each. There we go. And we're going to be playing Judicious Brew, who is basically the same, but better. So this is going to go well. <laughs> this is going to go well for me. So we're just going to hit it like this. I should have gone over that, by the way, how playing works. And don't, you immediately went into the bunker. Beautiful. Good job. Um, so this first game... We are playing for $2,000 uh, a hole and 2000 for uh, the win. And already I'm trailing behind, I think, which isn't super good. But I gotta say, it's such a, it's so weird that the difference between impossible and difficult is so glaringly obvious. Because I'm making money already. Like, no problem whatsoever. And I don't think that I've made holes that are that different. Rather, that much better, maybe I should say. Uh, so we're going to have to do a recovery shot, and I'm going to try and get it here, if I am able to do that. Don't hit it too far. You hit it too far. Oh, bother. Well, if I'm going to lose the first hole, I better lose it big, right? <laughs> oh, bugger. Well, that's better. Good job. Um... If I'm lucky, I can nail a high backspin shot here, right into the hole, but I'm gonna assume that I won't. No, that is almost in, it's in the bunk. How the hell are you doing this bad? <laughs> I mean, you have a little bit of accuracy, you should be able to use at least some of it. Okay, oh, that's actually in. No, it's not in. <laughs> so, the par 4 for me, that was actually quite accurate. Yep, yeah, so I'm losing 2000 there. Not good. A uh, good thing, however, about uh, Ghost Mukov is that he actually pays for himself, <laughs> which is just weird in a way, but also nice. Right, we're gonna try and hit this for not as far as possible. I'm also gonna be, I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna wait. Uh, you don't have to wait for others, but they will always wait for you. But yeah, I'm gonna be nicer because I do want her to uh, play the hole, so to speak, because uh, I do want the landmark that she is gonna give us. Are you actually going to hit it out of bounds? Or did I actually get it? What? Well, that can happen. Um, okay, this is not going well. He's He did a lot of a better job. So my accuracy is not doing well for me. Well, we'll see about this. Uh, one thing that we can say about uh, golfing is that if you see the ball uh, with uh, slightly more white pixels, pixels and a shadow, that means that it's on fairway. I am not liking this, by the way. Uh, if it's a little white stripe like that, then it's not on the fairway. So that's uh, a thing that you can see uh, how that works. And yeah, I could have said this, by the way, about shots. This is basically what we do. We select a shot and we try to... Or rather, we hold, we hold our thumbs, so to speak, <laughs> uh, that your little golfer can actually get it where you want it to go. There is uh, no, uh, there is no um, manual input or anything like that to change anything. And on that occasion, that went well. Uh, we can go over that, by the way. Yes, course report. So uh, your course, uh, your holes are divided into the same three 
skill sets, as we've seen before, length, accuracy, and Im and uh, imagination. And we're trying to get these up quite a lot. Right now, I have two breathers, which isn't super good, which means that none of the skills are really that useful. This is probably going to go up as we lower this to a par 4. Uh, we might have to do something about this hole at some point. Might remove the f green here. Potentially that is a thing. Yes, yeah, so you can actually get it onto the green. I mean, he's not going to set or get that putt in, that's true, but he's going to win this hole as well. He's going to win the match, by the way. Um, but for uh, some reason, this is uh, going really well, <laughs> which I'm happy for, because uh, that means that we can actually have some fun with this series. Uh, fun that I did not have on the impossible difficulty. So that's nice. We also have some visitations from a hot air balloon. Also nice. Okay, let's see if I can get some skill upgrades because uh, the first skill upgrade uh, while playing is going to earn you one of the professional accomplishments. And as I said, each of those lands you three more skill points. I need more skill points. <laughs> and um, I might actually go for some uh, power hitter because I think power hitter is just good for every kind of shot. And it just means that you sort of, you basically hit it better. So together with accuracy, I think power hitter is actually a good thing. But I'm not getting any upgrades now. That's hopefully fine. But yeah, people are very much liking this course. So that is why we are making a truckload of money for now. Ooh, did you actually put it out in the deep rough? That's the first. Maybe I can win this just by fact that you are now going to have a problem. I'm not counting on that, like at all, but you are going from deep rough to deep rough, so that's a good thing. Um, can't get it all the way over to the hole, so let's do this. What did I get? Ooh, I got the Buddha. Oh, that is both good and bad. <laughs> it's good because it's the third of the Happy Golfer one, and with a really wide... A really wide area of effect. However, it also costs a lot. Not the first one. The first, uh, the first Buddha is free. The first Buddha is free. But after that, yeah, they cost like I think, is it fifteen thousand or twenty thousand or something? It's a lot. It's way more than I'm gonna be able to afford for now. But generally, what I do is I just spam the course with Buddhas. <laughs> so everywhere where. Um, Golfers don't like things. They're gonna be uh, counteracted by the Buddha. Okay, well this is sad. I am going to lose um, the game, which is a bit of a shame. But there we go, accurate putter. So that is uh, a free 10% for accurate putter, um, and also three because I did a, a skill upgrade. So I'm gonna go and do power hitter here. So I win the hole, but I lose the game. So, uh, plus minus zero for the last one. Now we're gonna have to make our way back. Beautiful. Right, uh, let's do another hole and we'll finish the episode off with that. So we're gonna set the green here. I'm gonna do a fairly short one. Because I should be able to, yeah, I should be able to fit buildings in here, I think. Maybe, mm. Well, I can't, I can't have it too close to this because some people are going to use the fairways from different uh, holes, which isn't good. So I'm going to put it here. I'm going to have another green. Uh, by the way, I am going to place another green here now that I do have some money. Uh, so like that, you're going to have to go over the water to get to this. And I think that that is going to be fine. No, it is not. People without length don't like that. Can I also... What happens if I do this? By the way, we need to raise this up a bit. Not too much. Uh, let's actually raise this up to two. Uh, let's get this up as well. We can have a nice little waterfall kind of thing here. Nice. How does that treat you? Mm, still not good. Still not good. What about one more? 
better, but I still don't really like that. Okay, no. Uh, we're gonna have to move this one up a bit. Because again, changing water, etc. That's better. That is better. Uh, so people who are no, Im unimaginative, yeah, they're gonna land up here, but the, the those with imagination can actually get all the way up here, that's good. So I think that that is a fine hole. Um, actually, that means I can probably remove this one, which I do want. Is that true? It is true. Good. Well, so, some people are going to go in the water. Man, she's, she likes my course, like, a lot. Uh, good, good to know. Uh, so there we go. I'll make... No, I'll have a small bunker here, a big bunker here. Another bunker here, and then we'll have some deep rough all the way over here. There we go. And then just uh, some roads, and you, my good sir, you're gonna have to deal with both of these. So, I'll, because of that, I will do this. So now you can see that this is gonna turn into gravel, but that's fine, because I'm gonna hook it up here. And then we're gonna have ourselves this, and from, no, not from there, no, from here, yes. We're gonna just have a road back to the clubhouse, beautiful. Yep, again, how is this a par 4? Oh, game, this is not a par 4, and ooh, I can actually, do I go for this immediately, uh, the pro shop? Okay, so they are complaining a bit over here, are they? They are complaining a bit over here. I am actually going to put down a Buddha here. Because that fits in all of this, as well as that one. And, uh... I mean, I do want things to look good. I realize that. I might have to... No, I kind of want it here. And it can face the road. And at some point, I might change things here, put a few flowers, etc., etc. But I'm gonna put a Buddha here. I'm gonna put a Buddha here. So yeah, that will cover basically this entire area, which is just nice. So how much does that cost? Uh, Thirteen thousand. I mean, it's not that bad. Uh, but yeah, pro shop. Now I'm also curious: are people actually not going to this one? You, you didn't. None of you did. Hmm. Hmm. Have I placed this in a bad spot? Have we seen anyone actually go there? <laughs> uh, by the way, we need to check the elevations here. I forgot about that. Uh, so that is fine. But I'll lower this down to three. Yeah. Raise some stuff up over here, make it a little bit nicer. I just realized now that I could have gone further here with this hole, because this is going to be a new space here. But I might do something nice. I mean, I am going to try to do some, uh, you know, nice looking things as well. So, uh, might do that there. Okay, you like the variety of this course, if even though there are just par four holes, <laughs> but sure, you do you, I guess. Uh, by the way, that doesn't need to be three. That's why that looked a bit weird. It does look a bit weird here. Uh, it does look a bit weird. Let's actually increase this to three. That looks a little bit better, I think. Oh, we got the first heroic. Hole 3 is indeed a heroic hole, so that's going to give us more skill points. Because that is one of those professional accomplishments that we wanted. So, I'm going to go... He's looking mean. <laughs> I'm going to go power hitter, and I'm going to start moving into high backspin, I think. Yes. We'll do that. Uh, so, if we go into course report, we can see now that, yeah, hole 3 hole three is actually on its way to becoming a classic, even. So, classic hole is one that has green in all of them. And, uh, 
Yeah, for the most part, length holes. I don't have length holes. Which means that when, when hopefully Iron Picky shows up, uh, there is a bug, by the way, that can cause Iron Picky to not show up. And Iron Picky is the uh, character that we buy expansions from. But uh, let, let's assume that he actually does show up. I'm thinking that. I mean, the next hole is obviously going to start from here ish. So, yeah, we probably need to buy this tile over here. If we go into the routing map, where we can see. Uh, we can see the holes, we can see the coverage of our uh, employees, we can see the fun levels, we can see the market values for in the future when we are going to be placing home sites. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> go back. Uh, so this is the tile that we can buy. Uh, there are eight tiles around. So start with this tile and I, I'm thinking that we sort of loop this way around. That seems like a good idea, I think. So basically, we're gonna want to do a hole right down here. Maybe even like a dog leg right to make a really long par five hole. Uh, that's gonna work well, I think. But yeah, I gotta say, everything is working really well. So we're gonna put a cut in here, and uh, we are gonna put a cut in here, and in the next episode. Ooh, okay, so I'm looking at this again before before I do anything. Uh, I'll actually raise this, and I'll lower this. It's gonna be a little bit weird. And I am gonna do the same mistake again of having these be a slightly different angle, but it's gonna be fine. It is gonna be fine. How did you not get affected? What were you exactly out of range from that? Yes, yes, you probably were. You probably were right here. <laughs> God damn it. Right, we're gonna put a cut in here, and um, we're gonna put a cut in here, and the next time we're gonna see what uh, Ivana Richman gives us, because she's here again. Uh, she's probably liking it. Yes, she is. Well, actually, not super much. It's okay, but not much more than that. Right, put a cut in is what I said I was supposed to do, so let's do just that. For now, this has been Ghostmat Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.